and welcome to Siwi Fashion News Digest, Fashion Week News Digest Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1, where we tell you about the Coperni robot, the AV fashion show where clothes are literally falling apart, and the very tempting diesel fashion show. Come on, go ahead and watch. So Alessandro Michele left Gucci, and Gucci would be working on transitional collections until the new creative director of Gucci, Sabato de Starno's first show this September. This was the first women's wear show without Alessandro Michele. So the design team of Gucci were the ones behind the designs for this women's wear collection. And some say that it was a bit of a surprise, a bit of a mess, and some say that the collection had a Tom Ford touch to it. And that is because apparently some designers in the design team worked for Tom Ford nearly 30 years ago. The collection was inspired by the 90s, the 2000s. There was also an appearance of the old Gucci logo, the interlocking G, instead of the new one that Alessandro Michele came up with. The Gucci collection was overall a celebration of the multiple eras of Gucci, covering influences from Tom Ford all the way to Alessandro Michele. Okay, so when I saw this runway show, I was a bit confused. I was like, why is she up there with her phone? And then another model after her came up with her phone as well. Like, hmm, okay, what's the idea behind this runway show? Welcome to the Courage Fall Winter 2023 show. And this runway show questions the idea of to what extent are we consumed by technology? And the phone isn't even the only appearance of technology. There was an artificial intelligent voice generated in the background repeatedly asking, is the sky blue? But we can't deny that technology is one of our sources of inspiration, right? like Instagram, Pinterest, which is also one of the ideas of this runway show, which tackles the screen wear trend. Uh, because who needs pants, right? Just as we thought, Mew Mew couldn't get any minier after its micro mini skirt. It gave us no pants on the runway. So we cannot deny that the no pants revolution is here. And according to data, but make it fashion, was a rise of 25% of no pants looks during the fall winter 2023 runway show. Don't worry, we'll tell you why it's a thing. So the collection was trying to project the euphoria generation's laissez-faire attitude about sexuality. And as gender fluid fashion is taking over, it was said that a lot of the looks from Miu Miu could be also constructed as menswear. And to top it all off, the crown actress Emma Corrin, identified as a non-binary, wore a chunky camel sweater and embellished underwear close the show during fashion. Get to know more about the no pants revolution on our fashion trend news digest next week. Last but not least, the runway that shocked me the most. Like I still don't know how they even did that. The unrealage UV light fashion show. Like, the models come out wearing completely white and then this UV light emitting machine kind of scans the outfit and then as it goes down, the colors of the outfit just appears. Of course, with no doubt, this collection experiments the idea between fashion and technology. And also, the show kind of raises questions about their perception about fashion, how we really interpret the clothes that we wear, and also our relationship. Well, this is all that we have for you. Those four were your favorites in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, we are here twice a week. And we will be back very, very soon.